Things. Eric back on the naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back and looking at my channel. Let's talk about juices or the different juices that you could consume if you've got small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or SIBO. So as we've discussed many times on this channel, the bulk of the bacteria in the digestive system reside in the colon, in the large intestine. Incredible amount of bacteria down there. Billions of bacteria. The small bowel, however, also has bacteria but tends to be more involved in the digestive processes rather than the eliminatory processes right so when people have a small intestinal problem it can be pretty tricky you know what can suit that person's bowel at that time so you'll often read all these SIBO blogs you know about going on to low FODMAP diets and being particularly careful about carbohydrate selection in the diet now for some people that works for other people it's a load of baloney I mean I've known patients with SIBO to, to, to have no problem in eating baked beans out of a can. And I've seen other people that are healthy with no SIBO um, getting all bloated and sick and have a lot of gas from eating baked beans. <clears throat> so be careful about making up your mind on specific food selections with SIBO because it can really vary from person to person. The biggest mistake I see often with SIBO is people taking antibiotics and give temporary solution and long-term pain. So I don't see the gain even from rifaximin and drugs like that. I just don't see the gain at all, to be honest. I'm sorry. But the juices, what juices would suit people? Well, celery juice seems to be the rage. But again, be careful because for some people, taking celery juice can really affect their stomach and make them sick. Hydrochloric acid is a big thing with SIBO. So having a sufficient low pH of the stomach is very very important because this will stop okay the bacteria from feeding on partially digested food in that small intestine so you may really want to look at digestive enzymes Canzita Restore for example may be quite a nice product for people um, who've got SIBO for that reason uh, because of the enzymes in it and the probiotics but we're talking about juices so I've written quite a bit about uh, juices and juice fasting, for example, and drinking juices in my book, Candida Crusher. I spoke about the three different types of juices, the beginning juices, you know, the things that you can start drinking when you're beginning, the intermediate and the advanced uh, juicing. So if we look at the beginning, we look at things like Granny Smith apple, we look at celery, uh, we could look at pear maybe, or you know, sweet kind of foods like that. But you'll be saying, but hang on, with a small intestinal issue, aren't these foods going to upset me? It depends on how much you drink. Okay, it depends what you eat. It depends how you dilute the juices. Uh, but certainly many people will get away with a little bit of carrot, a little bit of celery, not a problem at all. The advanced ones, however, in my opinion, offer the best value um, in terms of clinical value, particularly the bitter, the bitter vegetables, which are much, much harder to take and seem to suit the more advanced kind of person. You know, particularly the brassicas like broccoli juice and spinach juice. Uh, these are quite tough uh, to drink, but these offer significant benefit for liver and the whole digestive tract. Also the small bowel, they're quite good. You wanna dilute these right down with water, <clears throat> but do some more reading and have a look at yeastinfection.org because there are certainly some articles on there about, about juicing that I've written. But uh, yeah, I would tend to be very cautious about juices with SIBO and tend to probably focus more on food and just drinking plain water, to be perfectly honest, and looking probiotics, enzymes, but also looking at something to clean up those bacteria. So check out Canzita Remove for that reason. It's a perfect supplement for people with SIBO. It works really well. Thanks for tuning in.